In a world where royal engagements often evoke images of grandeur and formality, there are moments when the simple act of compassion transcends protocol, leaving a lasting impression on all who bear witness. Such was the case when Her Royal Highness, Princess Anne, embarked on a deeply emotional visit to Rob Burrow, the former rugby league player who had captured the hearts of millions with his courageous battle against motor neuron disease. The setting was Leeds, a city steeped in the proud traditions of rugby league, where the community had rallied around one of their own in a remarkable display of solidarity and support. Princess Anne, adorned in a dignified ensemble befitting her royal stature, arrived at Leeds Rhinos AMT Hingley Stadium to express her gratitude to the athletic community for the tireless efforts in raising funds for the Motor Neuron Disease Association, MND, over the previous four years. As she stepped onto the hallowed grounds of the stadium, Princess Anne was greeted by a palpable sense of anticipation and reverence. The air was charged with emotion as she made her way through the crowd, her presence serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration to all in attendance. In her address to the gathered crowd, Princess Anne's words carried the weight of sincerity and empathy. She spoke not only as a royal figure but as a compassionate advocate who understood the profound impact of Rob Burrow's journey on the lives of countless individuals. Her message was one of gratitude and solidarity, a heartfelt tribute to a man whose courage had touched the hearts of millions. Yet, amid the outpouring of support and admiration for Rob Burrow, there was a noticeable absence. A void left by the temporary absence of Princess Catherine, the official patron of Rugby League. In her stead, Princess Anne stepped forward, her presence a testament to the unbreakable bonds of friendship and solidarity that transcended titles and positions. As she addressed the crowd, Princess Anne's thoughts turned to Princess Catherine, her words tinged with a sense of longing and concern. She spoke of Catherine's keen interest in rugby and athletics, her unwavering dedication to the causes she held dear. And yet, in that moment, she was absent, a void that Princess Anne felt keenly as she stood before the gathered throng. In her speech, Princess Anne conveyed her heartfelt wishes for Princess Catherine's swift recovery, her words a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment we are given. She spoke of Catherine's resilience and strength, her unwavering commitment to serving others even in the face of adversity. As the visit drew to a close, Princess Anne took a moment to reflect on the profound impact of her time with Rob Burrow and the rugby community. Thank <laughs> you.